Hey, what is going on guys? Rudinell here, come back at you with some more batch tutorials. I'm gonna get the Windows command line fired up here, bring this right down so you guys can see it. And uh let's get to talking. Well, let's get to let's get to see what we're doing here today. Now uh today I want to show you guys a little bit more about variables and the things that we took a look at in the last video. Now uh as you as you guys knew, variables are something that are, are things that are able to store information or they're just able to keep track of really what's going on in our program. And we can uh, we can use that to retrieve and store information and keep things really easy and organized for us. Now we created one of our own in the last tutorial. We created a variable. We called it var name, and then we set it to something like howdy, I think. Now uh, the system or your computer, or in our case Windows or Batch, whatever you'd like to call it they actually store some of their own variables that they need to keep track of. Now we can access and manipulate these variables and uh, make them do some pretty interesting things. So I want to show you guys these um, and then and then I'll leave it up to you guys to be able to go explore and see what else you can do with these. So uh, let's go ahead and type in set because set I showed you guys in the last video we were able to use set to actually create a variable but we're also able to use it without any variable name or anything after it and what it will do is it will display all the variables that you've actually created so far so if we display set and we haven't created any variables all on our own remember if we type this in we'll be returned a really long list of all the system variables that Windows keeps track of so we can use our scroll bar to actually scroll back here and look at all these things and these are all some things that are called environment variables because these are variables that are stored in the environment. Now uh, we've got, look at look at right here, all users profile is equal to uh, C program data. There's like app data, which is uh, a file system path, and we can keep track of things there. Here's the home drive, here's the home path where uh, all your things are stored. Um, number of processors, that sort of thing. Let's see. Program files. It actually displays the uh, the file system path. We have the prompt and everything. We've got the user domain, even the uh, even the username. We've got the computer name and that sort of thing. So if we actually went ahead and put in computer name, it'll return Windows. It's not recognized an internal or external command because remember it's replacing everything that's wrapped inside, or at least the variable that's wrapped inside these two these uh, two percent signs here. So, uh, take a look at that though. Now if we created our own variable, we'll call it var name again, we can set it to howdy just to keep things in order. And if we run set, we can see var name is right here. I'll select this for you guys so you guys can see it. Var name is right here and we've created it so it's, set is going to keep track of it. Now set is also pretty interesting that, in that we can, let's see, okay, okay. We can set things and if you give anything to it, it'll actually display things that start with that letter. So we can just type in start, set var, and anything that's, any variable that starts with var is going to be displayed. And in our case, all we have is a var name equals howdy. If we did set, like, um, let's see, user, it's going to display the user domain and the username and the user profile and that sort of thing. It's going to display everything that we've created. But these things can be really easily manipulated because we can set these variables to be whatever we'd like. And in fact, let's do just that. Let's set again so we can see some of the things that we're going to be working with and one that I want to show you guys is something called the path. Now remember I showed you guys the Windows System 32, that's the default path for Windows. This is where all the Windows programs and executable files are actually stored. So if we created a program or all on our own or we actually downloaded something that we want to be able to have access to in the uh, in the command line or in the shell, in the terminal, in the console, whatever you'd like to call it, we normally would just have to type in the whole file system directory. So if we want to get into like C program files and then uh, let's say, I don't know, maybe program name and then we ran program name bin and then uh, we went into uh, program.exe. We had to type all of that out. What we could do is we could actually put that inside the path variable, put that whole file system path and then we just had to type in the program name and it'll run that because it doesn't have to actually have to have the uh, the path anymore because it's saved in the path variable. It'll look in anything inside that path variable as to where it's going to be finding these executables. So we'll manipulate that in another video, but I did want to be able to show you guys, hey, your file system, your computer actually stores a lot of information that you have access to now. 
And, uh, you know, we're going to be working with that a little bit later. And it's cool to be able to understand these things and at least know what you have access to because they've given it to you as a variable. And you can still just, you can still even see some of the things that you create and you can keep track of what you've created if you, if you don't know. But uh, thank you guys for watching, though. Just some environment variables for your faces. <laughs> and uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.